This edition of Mac Voices is brought to you by Take Control Books, the answers you need now from leading experts. Learn more and download yours at TakeControlBooks.com. Welcome to Mac Voices. This is the talk of the Mac community. I'm Chuck Joyner. Folks, I get to welcome back a friend that I haven't seen since Mac World with a new product that I'm loving and I think you're going to love too. Patrick O'Neill from Olaclip. Patrick, it's great to have you back. Thanks. Well, thank you very much Sarah, for having me, Chuck. Yeah, this, this it's always fun, and I always get excited because when I get a new iPhone, inevitably a new Ola Clip is probably in the offing, and you haven't disappointed this time. Um, in fact, I'm not even sure exactly. Is this just the Ola Clip for iPhone six? Yes, it is. No, yeah, we changed. We decided, you know, we could do a lot of fun things this time, and we thought, you know, why just sit around doing the same thing? Every time, let's you know try to make things um, even more useful and easier, and just add more things, and just sort of bring things up a little bit where we can. Yeah, and and so you've gone with a completely new design. I was I don't I was theorizing it's because of the new uh, edge to the iPhone six. I don't know if that really had anything to do with it, but the new design is is quite a bit different, uh, and I like it for a number of reasons. But I'll let you tell the folks about it about what it is and how it works. Yeah, well, the, the new old clip is um, right now we've changed it so that instead of just going on the corner and just working on the rear facing camera, we've made it so that we go on the top and we can flip over and go between the rear camera and the FaceTime front camera. So we give you the ability to take fisheye selfies and wide angle selfies and um, regular, regular photos as well. And also it comes with a wearable pendant so that when you're not taking pictures, you can store it. You can just latch it on there and have it ready. So with one hand, you can just pull it off and put it, put it on your phone and be ready to go, you know, in just a matter of a couple seconds. So just like that. I, and and uh, yeah, I've got, I've got mine right here and I've been, I've been working with it over the weekend and, and really have enjoyed it because once again, it gives me the flexibility of, of, uh, of more lenses, of more options for my iPhone 6 um, with something that, yeah, it's it's easy to stick in my backpack or even in my pocket or like you say with the pendant, now you can wear it around your neck. Um, it is a little larger than the the older Ola Clips, which I kind of see frankly as an advantage because before the the older Ola Clips kept going to the bottom of my bag and I'd have to dig around for them or they go to the bottom of my pocket. And this one's a lot easier to find no matter where I have it and and put it on and go. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, as far as the, we didn't have to change the design for the iPhone 6. We could have still done the corner. It was that we really wanted to give that more functionality. And the, the phone has two cameras. We thought, you know, why, why not ha let our customers have the flexibility of using both cameras with their lenses instead of just limiting them to the one camera? Now, of course, we sort of jumped into this right off the bat, and I and assumed what everybody, what every everyone would know what an Olo clip is. So, how about if we, you just give us the elevator pitch on what this is and its capabilities? So, the Olo clip is a lens system for the iPhone that just slides on and gives you a fisheye, wide angle, and two macro lenses. So, you you with the fisheye, you get a big curved image, 180 degrees. With the wide angle, you get nearly double your field of view. And with the macro, you get a 10 times magnification and a 15 times magnification to really get those detailed images to show you things you can't see with the human eye. And I, I really have not done much with the macro lenses in the past. This time I was working with them and it, it is quite impressive. Uh, what you have, I mean, you get down, you are right on top of the item, the pictures turn out great and the detail is, is really surprising. Maybe it shouldn't be for an iPhone. But coming through a third-party lens, it's it's something that I think a lot of a lot of kids are going to love taking pictures of bugs and different things. But you also are seeing the world through a different lens. Sorry. Yeah, that's all right. <laughs> we say the same thing. You absolutely are. It's people when they see the macro. That's the thing. The one thing that really blows their minds. You know, they, most people have never had any experience with macro photography, and when they see what's possible with that, they just want to start taking pictures of everything, <laughs> seeing what everything looks like. And I mean, that's what we encourage people to do, just go off and explore and try all the different lenses. Try, you know, shooting with fisheye, something that you might not think to shoot. Try wide angle, because with fisheye and wide angle, you can get them in closer to your subject than you can with a normal iPhone and still be in focus. And the fisheye too is one that, you know, it's, it's fun to experiment with, but you try to figure out what it is you're ever going to use it for. 
but now I've got one in my hand all the time. So now I start playing and it's like, well, that's an interesting effect. And, and I would never have thought of a selfie fisheye. That just would not have ever occurred to me. But I saw some of the ones on the website and then started playing with some of my own. And it's like, yeah, okay, this, this is a, a very creative expression that I've never had before. No, absolutely. It's just, I mean, that's what we talk about. We've always called the old clip. We've said creative options in your pocket, but I guess now we're going to have to change that. <laughs> you don't have to put it in your pocket anymore. Around your neck, maybe. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, I, I, I want to make sure, Patrick, we talk just a little bit. Um, I have an iPhone 6. The Olo clip comes pre-configured, if I guess is the best way to say it, for an iPhone, excuse me, I have an iPhone 6 Plus. It comes pre-configured for the 6 um, with a little clip that's in there. And you do, if I have an iPhone 6 Plus, I have to take that out and put the other one in. And I'll let you explain all of that and why. Yeah, well, what that, there's a, a little piece of plastic that we call an insert that's up in the top of the clip. And what that does is it sets the alignment on the for the front-facing FaceTime camera. So uh, it won't have any effect on the rear camera. So you could actually pull it out of the package, use it on your iPhone 6 Plus. It'll work great on the rear camera. It'll work really well on the front camera too. But if you change the insert over to the iPhone 6 Plus, it will work just a little bit better because the alignment will be perfect then rather than maybe a fraction of a millimeter off. So um, again, most people won't notice it. But yeah, it's just right. Uh, let me see if you can. Can you see that there? You can see it up in the up in the edge. I'm not sure. We're, yeah. We've got a video that we shot last week, and that's going up on our website on the on the help um, little site that's included with the product, so that people can watch a little video that shows how to pop that out and how to put a new one in. It's it's quite easy once you see how it's done. Yeah, that was the thing. I you know, and I mean, this is our view unit, so I didn't want to you know just push and push and push. But the funny thing was, um, when it finally went in, it just went snap yeah. and it's in yeah. and it was perfect so it really is a case of just getting it maneuvered around yeah. to just the right spot where it will fit into place yeah you just sort of that i mean that's the insert this little thing here yeah and you just sort of hold it like that and then you just put it like that and then you just snap it in yeah. and then you're all done so yeah, yeah. It, it, it's i think it's a tribute again to the yellow clip quality uh, you you guys i mean these are some pretty tight tolerances to slide a lens on and off and get it so there are no light leaks none of that it just would would seem that it becomes a piece of the of the phone itself and and i love that because it, of the pictures it produces yeah we've spent a lot of time getting everything just right and i mean over the last oh, four years or so we've really developed a lot of um, expertise and uh, systems around how to get this stuff just right and make it work just perfectly. So, yeah. Um, so it comes with, the, these are these are some other, I'm not quite sure what your term is for these, but these are the things that fit into the Olo clip that let you hang it around your neck. Yeah, that's a, that's a pendant. Pendant, okay. So, um, you, yeah, so that, you see, it hooks up to, you know, you can hook it on a lanyard or you can hook it on a keychain or you can hook it to a little carabiner, put it on a backpack, your belt loop, and you just put that in and it just snaps in and then you've got got that. So Yeah. And you just for folks, you just heard it snap into place. It snaps into place tight. Because mm -hmm. when I when I first opened the package, it's like, okay, now I'm not quite sure what is what here. Yeah. But once <laughs> once you come to understand how the new O equip works, yeah. it, it becomes very obvious. And it comes in uh, I think you give it three colors, the green, the blue, and a black. That's right. Yeah. There also is going, there's going to be a white uh, clip, Olo clip also, and then that will include a white one and uh, a couple other colors with it. But there's three pendants in the box. So the idea is that you can, you know, have one of these on your backpack, one on your keychain, one on, you know, your lanyard that you wear around your neck and be ready to go whenever. Right. With with the former version of the old equip, which I know is still available, obviously for iPhone five and five S's, um, you you also had a case that was a compatible case that made it a little bit easier to uh, have a case on your phone and also use the old clip. Any plans for something like that uh, with this one? Yeah, we'll be having a case coming out early next year, and with our old case, you had to open it up like this to get the old clip on. Our new case, is, you won't have to open anything, and the bullet clip will just slide onto the top of it. In fact, that's one of the reasons that this little insert's in there, because you'll take this out, and the case will become this part. 
Oh, okay. So this this would replace that, and then you would just have this run along that. So that's part of the reason we need this in there. It's for the case, actually. Patrick, how frustrating is it for you to have a, a perfectly good product out there that fits all the iPhones and then have Apple redesign an iPhone? So you have to sort of go back to the drawing board. Is it? Do you see it as, as an annoyance or is it an opportunity to try maybe a new design? It's, I, actually, it's fun. I, I would be really bored if they didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, we actually, that's the most fun thing for us. That keeps our mind moving and keeps us just thinking about, you know, how can we make this better? How can we keep keep pushing just like Apple does. So we're, we look at it that, you know, they're racing ahead, making great products and we're just trying to keep up with them. So I think it's, it's fantastic. Well, I have to tell you, I, I, this, this has always been a favorite of mine with my, with my previous iPhones, but I have an idea this one's going to be get even, or I should say get even more use mm -hmm. because of its ease of going on and off and just the quality of the photos and folks, I'll try to take a couple that are, worthy of uh, of putting in the video and if not i'll definitely have some on the blog when i can get some decent weather here and shoot some shoot something interesting but um i I've, i gotta tell you just please if you get one of these play with all the lenses every every single one patrick i, I did want to clarify you said there are two macro lenses are they basically just the same thing do you or, uh, or is... different magnifications are they okay so you're right so one of them's 10 times another one's 15 so you've got one that's a bit more okay magnification. okay i wasn't i wasn't sure about that yep. um yeah I, I i mean in a way it's it's kind of hard to talk about because it just it slides on it does what it's supposed to do it does it well and that's it so, yeah what uh, what's the price point on these uh they're 79.99 okay and availability is now uh yeah we're pre-ordering now we're just uh we're just going to be shipping, just starting to ship this week. So, yeah, you know, so it'll be staged, staged shipments, and uh, we'll catch up as quickly as we can. So with a little luck, you shouldn't have any trouble getting these in time for the holidays. Oh, uh, no, yeah. If people people place an order now, we'll def they'll definitely get it shipped before the end of this month. Great, great. Yeah. All right, one more critical thing. Are you going to have T-shirts like with the old exploded little clip? Are you going to explode these? We're going to need one for this. This new one. <laughs> yeah, I pulled that out of my closet the other day, and it's like, oh darn, the T-shirt is outdated. Yeah, I know. I need a new T-shirt. <laughs> uh, uh, Patrick, the website where folks can go to see this for themselves, learn a little more, and uh, maybe pick one up. Yeah, it's oloclip.com. O l l o c l i p dot com. Uh, Twitter presence, Facebook presence for Oloclip? Yeah, or Oloclip on all those, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Great, great. Well, I'll have links in the show notes to all of that so you can connect with, with Patrick and with Oloclip. And uh, folks, give, give this a try. I've, I've, I'm really enjoying it. I hope you will, too. Patrick, it's great to see you. Thanks for being here. You, too. Well, thank you very much, Chuck. We'll do it again. Yes. Folks, that's Mac Voices. Again, check the show notes. We'll have links for everything that you need to know about the Ola clip to follow Patrick, to follow me, just to, uh, to get in touch. Until the next time, and as always, thanks for watching. Visit macvoices.com for links, show notes, to subscribe, to connect with Chuck on Twitter, Google+, YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, and the Mac Voices blog. Subscribe to our weekly newsletter, the Mac Voices Dispatch, to stay up to date on all the latest Mac Voices news from our front page or at macvoices.com slash newsletter. Do more with your Apple tech by subscribing to the free Mac Voices magazine on Flipboard by visiting macvoices.com slash magazine. Advertising and sponsorships handled by Backbeat Media at backbeatmedia.com. Bandwidth provided by Cashfly at cashfly.com.